Hi and welcome back. During our last lesson, we spoke about how you could write effectively to engage your readers. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can speak to impact and not to impress. The other day, I mean, I was listening to something someone said and I was really taken aback. I mean, this person probably looked in their dictionary, looked, looked for quite a number of words that people would not understand, and then they strung together this sentence. It was pretty obvious that virtually everybody who was in the room did not have a clue what this person was saying. Now, obviously, this person was hoping that by picking up some very unknown and unusual words, they'll be able to impress the people in the audience. However, the problem was nobody, or would I say, oh, most people did not understand what this person was saying. Now, let me tell you something I hope you will always remember. Right? Small minds always try to impress people with words they don't understand. If you see people who are very confident, very intelligent, and very good at influencing others, they always use simple language that everybody would understand. Okay, so if you find yourself having a conversation or speaking in front of people and you're asking yourself, how can I engage these people? How can I make sure that what I share with them is impactful? Always remember this. Always try to use words that people would understand. So look through your notes and ask yourself a question. For every word in there, is there a simpler word I could use that probably means the same thing? And if there is, use it. If you do that, I promise you that your speeches and your presentations would be more engaging and would also be more impactful. That's today's lesson. Again, look out in a couple of days when I'll be sharing with you our next lesson. Bye for now and God bless.